I want to bring in our Pentagon correspondent now, Courtney Kuby, who is following all of this. Court, how soon will the help that President Biden is promising to Israelis actually get there? Some of it is arriving right as we speak, and we know that our reporting indicates from a White House official or an official that even though there is technical expertise partnering with the Israelis on this hostage crisis, no boots on the ground at this point. Right. I mean, with the exception of the U.S. troops who are already there in Israel yeah. for other as, as part of a continuing missions that are existing there. So that's absolutely correct. U.S. assistance, not only is it still flowing in, some of it's already there. The USS Ford Carrier Strike Group, along with a cruiser, four destroyers, and all of the complement of aircraft and missiles that go along with that Carrier Strike Group, they are there in place in the eastern Mediterranean on station. In addition to that, the U.S. is still bringing in quite a bit of of air power, upwards of two dozen aircraft, both fighters, F-15s, F-16s, attack aircraft, A-10s, and then those F-35s with their exquisite capabilities in surveillance, their ability to jam, and their ability to partner with the Israelis who have their own F-35s as well, Hallie. So all of that moving into place. But in addition to that, uh, we heard from President Biden what we've all been expecting to hear now for several days, and that mm -hmm. is that the U.S. is going to replenish the iron dome with additional interceptors. We heard a little bit about that from Richard Engel. Why that is so important is this is what Israel has been using to protect their skies since this all started Saturday morning. Hamas has, has launched upwards of thousands of these short-range rockets and artillery. The Iron Dome has the ability to launch an interceptor. We've seen a lot of video of it, including right here, Hallie. They can launch these interceptors up and stop the incoming short-range fire. Now, one of the reasons, in addition to the fact that Hamas has launched thousands of these things, that Israel is going to need to continue to be resupplied is the fact that, think about it, when you're launching an interceptor, if you have incoming, you may not just launch one, you may launch two or even three so that they can ensure that they take out that incoming. They're going to need more and more of these to come as long as this, this war continues, Hallie. Courtney Kuby, live for us there at the Pentagon. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.